Hey, it's Mark Podolsky, The Land Geek, with your favorite niche real estate website, thelandgeek.com. And on this week's roundtable podcast, we've got the usual suspects. we got the Zen master, breathe in the mailing, breathe out the marketing. Mike Zeno, Mike, how are you? Doing wonderful. Thank you for asking. I like that snazzy new mic. Speaking of snazzy new mics, we got Dude Buddy, the nightcap OG, Scott Bossman. Scott, how are you? I'm doing great, Mark. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Look at you keeping up with the Zanos. We've got the right. technician, Eric Peterson. Eric, how are things? I am doing well. It's, it's great to see you. Uh, rib, like, uh, you know, one of those no rib came dangling from your mouth today. It's good. I love it when you call me Big Papa. Tate Litchfield. Tate, how are you? I'm good. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Wow. Happy healthy. Yeah, happy healthy New Year to everyone, including the brain, the professor, your flight school Sherpa, Scott Todd from scotttodd.net, landmodo.com, learn anything about anything, investorninjas.com. Scott Todd, happy New Year. How are you? I'm good, Mark. I feel like I broke you, though. I feel like last year I completely like decimated you with your intro by, by harassing you about the www.thelandgeek.com and like you've dropped it ever since then. And you kind of like, I think I knocked you off your balance a little bit. I'm like, uh, I, I'm like Jake Paul taking you down. Man. Ooh, ooh, wow. Ooh. For all the millennials, they really got that ooh. joke. Scott, it looks like Scott Todd's been hanging out with his uh, teenagers. Scott, are uh, you back on a Reddit binge? A lot. Are you on Where's a Reddit? Are you I on a Reddit binge? I won't deny or confirm anything. All I can tell you is, you know, we'll see what happens in 2021. So yeah, I mean, but I think it's it's an interesting point because 2021, I'm taking uh, feedback suggestions all in the name of Kaizen, continual improvement. I'm bringing it into the next year. There's no reason to say www anymore. Scott Todd brought it to my attention. I'm evolving. I'm shifting. I'm taking it. It's a good suggestion. I'm implementing it. And I think it's, it's good for my own growth just to uh, change things up. We'll be changing lots of things up in 2021. Very, very excited about it. We've got so many new things coming down the pike. So many no more developments and improvements, in, especially in the software and in uh, LG Pass and GeekPay. So exciting, but I'd love to know from everyone else on the round table, because it's our first round table of the year, your 2021 goals. And by the way, can we just say it? Isn't it great to be done with 2020? Mike Zeno. Yeah, think? I think absolutely. And, um, I feel like I'm the new Eric Peterson. I get called on first all the time. I don't know how that got. That is this like 2021. <laughs> this is the I'm new thing in 2021. <laughs> but um, 2021, I'm welcome. Welcome it. Uh, I'm glad it's here. And um, I got to tell you that if I did have some goals recently, they were radically changed uh, in the last few weeks because someone on this call released something that has caused my brain to go into overload this whole process moto. I literally am dreaming, and this is no joke. I literally dream about like, I'm in my bed laying, I wake up and I'm thinking about triggers, what's gonna start, like, it's like infected my brain. And um, so my goal for 2021 is my business is gonna run like McDonald's. It's gonna be like the McDonald's of land investing. There's gonna, no more, like, look at my VAs do a great job, things happen, but what, what kind of drives me crazy is when like, there's a process we have in place. Well, I'll put it in air quotes, right? We have it in place. It's, it's known, but they're like, Oh, okay. I just did this. What do you want me to do? And it's like, well, I want you to do the next step, but I never had it listed out. I never had it uh, sort of uh, in a workflow that would be really house it and keep it consistent. So 2021 is all about making my business like McDonald's. And I am super excited. I, like I said, I'm literally, uh, I unlocked uh, recently, um, and I'm not a tech guy, right? So I unlocked unlocked how to use a webhook. That was a big win for me. Um, all these new things have come. So everything got, got altered in the last few weeks here. Um, I begged and pleaded, and he and uh, he, he let me in, and uh, it's changed everything. So 2021, McDonald's, 
my lamb business is going to run like McDonald's. You order a cheeseburger, you're going to get a cheeseburger. You, you order a hamburger, you're going to get a hamburger. There's not going to be like, what goes on that hamburger? They, they're going to know. My team knows. And, no, uh, I, and Mike, you, you, uh, <laughs> I, I, I've been following your progress. You've been doing great. But there's one thing you haven't even touched on, and it was covered in, uh, in one of the process Thursdays that you weren't there. The nested forms, baby. You got that. That will blow your mind even further. So make sure you're watching the the uh, processmoto.com forward slash universe. Nested forms. All right, here we go. Another tool. Nested forms. An another tool. Potential. But, but this is this is one of those tools. All the tools, LG Pass, Geek Pay, they're all designed to save you time because you can always make more money. We can't get more time. Process Moto really takes that to a new level because now you're really going to be able to get more time to be the CEO. And like Mike said, McDonald's, McDonald's, your business have these processes and systems and it's only limited by your imagination. But what's great yeah. about it is you don't have to be that imaginative because Scott's kind of showing you the processes. Yeah. So and there's a lot of stuff in phenomenal. There's a lot of stuff in there and and like i just learned that nested forms on these i think there's a lot of stuff i haven't even touched upon yet so it's just good what happens though is like i'm getting them all sketched out and then so it's like done beats perfect in the beginning then i'm going to go back and i'm going to refine them i'm going to add training videos and but first i just want to map it all out and then i'm going to go back and it's it's pretty awesome and and again I, i've never really been really uh, super tech savvy uh, it's been a bit of a struggle but it's been a fun struggle i recently i was telling you mark there's a book um who wrote that? Bossman. Is it Hardy? Uh, ABC? He, I think he wrote Who, who uh, Not How. Who Not How? Yeah. Then the other one was the ABC method, which he talks about, you know, there's things in life that just you just hate doing things you're okay and things you love. And you should try to strive to have things you love. So, you know, this right now falls in that area. It's a, it's a, a labor of love. I love learning about this because I know once I get it done, it's done and it's done right. I'll Fantastic. say that into the bubble bee. Done right. Done right. Um, Scott Bossman, we're in 2021. What are your big goals for the, the new year? Well, I always think of it as personal goals and business goals, uh, honestly. So, um, business wise, uh, much like Mike said, you know, we have a good system in place for so many things, but things are a little bit clunky in different areas. So we really want to smooth things out. Uh, we're going to up our mailings this year. That's a strategy that we've had. Uh, you know, uh, I think uh, it all comes down to numbers and it's time to ramp things up a little bit with our mailings um, because we have systems in place to do that. So that's what we're looking at um, with our business. Uh, process mode is going to be a huge part of that. I've spent some time, uh, haven't really delved in yet, but I spent some time uh, uh, digesting uh, some of the videos and training and that type of thing. Um, personally, uh, you know, I look at last year, I think, you know, some things, some areas I excelled, like my cardiovascular health is better, which is good. I've lost quite a bit of weight, which is good. So uh, I want to strengthen now, right? I want to bulk up a little bit. My wife's like, you're too skinny. Okay, so we'll work on that. I want to keep reading. I've really started reading a lot more, close to one book a week. I want to keep doing that. And, uh, you know, it kind of dawned on me too, like, um, just with COVID and kids getting older and getting older fast that they're going to be out of the house here pretty soon. So uh, I'm going to make a concerted effort to spend a little bit more time with my boys and um, yeah, do some quality stuff, which, you know, the business allows me to do, which is pretty amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. Um, Tate Litchfield, 2021 wow. goals. You know, um, I'll start with some of the personal goals. I too have a goal of reading more. Um, I'm not quite reading one book a week, but uh, I'm definitely branching out, learning some new things. I heard at the beginning of the pandemic that if you don't come out of the pandemic, having learned a new skill or trait or something along those lines, you've wasted your pandemic. And since we're unfortunately still in it, there's still time, right? And a lot of people, have uh, taken the opportunity to learn about land investing and they've used their pandemic time wisely and they've learned a way to kind of grow a business on the side. And so I've been looking at new things as well. I've been learning more on automation, 
Um, I've also set some goals to uh, sell more properties than we did this year. Uh, I've kind of had one of those aha moments where I realized that uh, there really is no limitation to how much land you can sell, right? Uh, the main limitation is me. It's limited by my ability to market. And if I can crack the marketing code on a large, large, high level uh, uh, scale, we could sell as many properties as we wanted. So that's one of the goals I have. Obviously, I want to stay healthy. I really liked what Scott said about uh, spending more time with his family, um, doing more fun activities. I've got young kids, and that's the one thing I hear over and over again is enjoy it because they're out of the house in no time. And so right now my kids can't leave the house, uh, and that's a good thing and a bad thing at times. But uh, I'm enjoying it. We're going to do some fun family things this year get outside more and, and just kind of enjoy the great outdoors. So that's some of our goals. Fantastic. Fantastic. The technician, Eric Peterson, what are your 2021 goals? So I think uh, on a business uh, standpoint, refinement of, of processes, I mean, much like Mike and Scott and everyone else has already said, I, I think there's always there's always room for refinement and improvement of your processes and systems in your business. So um, we'll continue to work on that and uh, hopefully make things more efficient and, uh, and run smoother. Um, there's some new areas that I'd like to uh, kind of test out in terms of different counties and, and locations, uh, areas that, uh, that I've been interested in for a while, but you know, haven't really put in the the needed effort in research to actually go out and acquire property in those areas. So, so that's on my list. Um, there's also some some marketing techniques and um, channels that I want to explore in this this year. Um, and you know, things that we don't necessarily focus on today, but things that I think are potentially the future and, and worthwhile exploring deeper uh, to, to see what kind of results we can generate. Um, and I, th I think that's, that's kind of the high level ones um, in, in terms of the business. I mean, there's, there's always this aspect of uh, finding more things that, that we can take off our plates, you know, whether that's turning it over to an executive VA or, you know, your salesperson or this person or that person. So there's always that. And I think that kind of goes hand in hand, I, I guess, with the refinement, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, we want to sell more property. We always want to sell more property. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of where we're at. All right. S sounds good to me. Um, and I'm, I'm surprised it wasn't like, become like uh, a grill master and enter some kind of crazy contest. But again, I'm just projecting my own stuff onto you. Um, Scott Todd. I will, I will continue to use the grill, but uh, I don't know that I have any desire to enter any competitions. I just do it for fun, okay. for family, for friends, you know. All right, fantastic. Scott Todd. 2021. 2021. Well, we already have some uh, some cool changes to LG Pass already out of the gate. What is it? Well, it's it's a new great low price for mailings uh, built into LG Pass. So, you, you know, basically the way that the old system worked is that we had LG Pass and then you had to go get a lob account. So you had to go to lob.com and get a lob account and you could do it for free, the, the lob account for free, but we've now integrated that in. It's all under one account. So we can pull all of our mailings together and we've negotiated a great price for a black and white standard mail, which I don't mail standard mail. I know some people do, I'm not a fan of it. 50 cents for a black and white letter for 50 cents. For uh, first class mail, standard mail, 65 cents, no monthly fee to lob. So like there's no supplemental subscription needed. Like it's all built in. It's just there in LG Pass and enjoy it. It's, it's a cost savings from the land geek. 
and the land geek community. So that's that's already off the off uh, 2021 like launching. So that's good. And so I think that kind of like what you said in terms of uh, systems, we got some cool things designed for LG Pass this year. Uh, further further to to streamline things, we've got an exciting tax module that I've talked about a little bit, just kind of teased, but that's really cool when you look at putting that into place. Um, we've got some cool things set up for Land Moto in 2021 as well. Things like um, deep, deeper search, you know, like we've been spending a lot of time and in investment making the search just the, the, the search tool that's right there on the, the Land Moto homepage, like incredible. And I was just messing around with it the other day um, you know, one of the things that uh, I always teach in flight school is, hey, go find the land investors and like, you know, go, go and look to see the APN numbers. Well, the other day, I just from the search bar right down the home screen, I just typed in the county. I was just testing out like Apache. And I just typed in the first three digits from the APN number 211. And guess what? I got like six, uh, 200 records back. I got 200 records back right there. It's like the Google of land investing or land, if you will right there on the Land Moto homepage, it's doing a deep crawl and we got other uh, cool things involved for that. So there's cool things on our on that tool. Process Moto we've talked about, but like Process Moto I think is a game changer for, for my business this year as well. Um, every Thursday I've been doing these Process Thursdays where we take, we take a process and we build out the workflow behind it. And what's really cool about these Process Thursdays is when we take the workflow we put them on the, the universe, the processmoto.com forward slash universe. Uh, there is already a library there of, of uh, workflows that have been created. And what's cool about it is that when they're there, you can go there, you can watch the video on how we created it, but then there's a file there. You download the file, you upload it into your version of process moto and the workflow that we created. The entire workflow is there, so now you can tweak it. So you wanna talk about processes in a box? Well, they're evolving over time. Like you can pick and choose the processes that you want. And I think that's a big deal for businesses as well to, to grow your business and to scale it. So lots of cool tools from the land side. No stop, we're gonna to continue to buy a boatload of land and, and uh, sell land. So if you have wholesale land, like if you want to sell land wholesale, please email it to me, wholesale at landmoto.com. Like we are buying a boatload of land as well. So if you if your prices are right and it's an area that we're interested in, we will pick it up. All right, great. And in, in 2021, is the donut going to remain? AKA yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, look, it's a highlight. It's a highlight of my morning. Okay, you talk about the morning, the miracle morning. My miracle morning is like, get up. I celebrate the fact that I'm alive and I go celebrate with a donut and, uh, you know, enjoy the rest of the day. All right. I love it. Lots of good things going on in 2021. For me personally, um, I'm going to just kind of keep it very, very simple. Um, I want to learn something new um, at least every month. So I want to take sailing lessons. I'm going to, at some point, convince Tate to teach me how to fly fish. Um, you know, Eric, maybe teach me how to grill. Scott Bossman, teach me how to be a man. Mike Zano, teach me, you know, uh, you know, uh, how to eat lobster or kibbe right, whatever it is. Scott Todd, teach me about aviation. I want to learn more things, like how to do more things. Um, so really, I want to embrace uh, going into anything that scares me. I want to do it. Um, fly fishing kind of scares me. I don't know why, uh, but it does, you know, certainly learning to sail, you know, all these things are a little scary. I want to do them. Uh, fear is just excitement. It's, it's just another form of excitement. I want to go deeper into that personally, for sure. Um, I'm still on the fence about the donut every morning, but I'm open to it. Are you, uh, sure. so so are you following like the yes man routine? Like someone says, hey, let's go do this. And it's yes. I, I'd like to follow that routine. But, you know, we're still in, you know, lockdown with COVID. So it's not like someone's like, hey, let's go to Indonesia. 
I'd be like, yes, like they won't take us yet. So, but yeah, I think for the most part, yes. So, I, so like basically what I gotta do is I gotta get you to Florida and then we can go skydiving. Yes, oh. done. Wow, yes. wow. You, yeah, I'd love to skydive. I'll, yeah. I'll watch you from the ground. Well, you know, you, you know, but, but, it's, plane. It, but you know, but that kind of brings me back to the 2020 goal, which was for me, I wanted to be able to die and the companies continue to run. So we processed out everything and it's all there. It's all documented. I should be able to die and everybody continues their, their roles and it's fine. And I think we're there. Um, my kids are at that age where, I mean, they wouldn't like it if I died, but they're old enough now, like I could die. So skydiving is definitely on the table for me where, you know, like Tate probably shouldn't be doing it. The kids are too young. Um, but I'm at that point. It's fine. I know it's a little morbid, but it's how I think. I don't know. Don't, don't, don't judge Zeno. Very stoic. It's very stoic. Yeah. Um, professionally, you know, obviously we're doing some really, really cool things with geek pay. Uh, I can't talk about them yet. They're still in development. I don't want to tease something out there that for whatever reason doesn't happen, but we're really working on some really cool things uh, with Geek Pay. I'm really excited about it. And then, of course, I don't know. I mean, we'll have to roundtable this. Dirtier and Richer as, a sec as a, the sequel to Dirt Rich about how to scale your land business. I think we're going to publish that bad boy 2021. I don't like that name. So, okay, Scott's a no. Eric's a no. Yeah. Eric's a no. A no. No. A no. I don't, yeah, I think, I think you should maybe continue with the Dirt Rich, Dirt Rich 2. Dirt Rich 2. Yeah. Dirt Richer. No. No. Dirt Rich and Dirt Wiser. Rich. Dirt Rich, wash your hands. Dirt, dirt Rich. Ties in the 2020. <laughs> dirt, Dirt Rich 2. Build, build a franchise, man. Okay. So, what do you think, Scott Bossman? Dirt Rich too. How do I mean Star Wars? Rich? Star it's Wars is able to do it. I mean, Episode Two. No, you. I, I, it's better than. Uh, it's it's better than. Dirty and richer. <laughs> dirty and richer. <laughs> dirty. Yeah. So. Yeah, um, but then, you know, and then it's just going to come into Kaizen, just continually improving everything in the business, stress testing the business and um, and getting that that next level. Um, it's always a challenge. And what's so great about this is that, um, you know, we're always climbing that mountain, but there's no top like we'll never get there. But it's the journey that's so rewarding and so fun and that constant challenge. So I love it. I mean, I'll be on my 21st year and uh, I'm not slowing down. I, I, I just, you know, I, like Scott Todd, I wake up every day. I'm super grateful to wake up, super grateful to do this with you guys. And, uh, and it's, it's just fun. It's just fun. I don't know. But uh, this is a great discussion. And um, for sure, if you have for your 2021 goals, a goal that you are kind of on the fence about, publicly post it, make yourself accountable. Uh, there's been studies done when you tell people you're gonna do this. You know, if you say, hey, look, I'm gonna start this new land investing business, I'm committing to 20 offers a day, tell everybody you're doing it. And then you're more likely to follow through for sure. Um, but now we're just, at that point in the podcast. Just, hey, just where, don't, don't, yeah, don't, ahead. don't make like, I'm all for the goals. Right. But sometimes people put their goals there and you know, they're not, they're not even achievable. Right. Like they, they go and they'll say, I, I want to do $20,000 a month in my first three months. Well, that's beautiful. It's just not going to happen. Right. I'm not saying you won't have cash sales that might get you there, but to build a passive income, $20,000 a month, three months, that's not realistic. You know, I think that we we all start our businesses, and it's not like we just came into what we have today. It started with one sale, right? One sale, and 
I remember early on, I was just telling someone this the other day, early on, my goal was, look, let me just do one sale a week. Let me buy a property and sell a property every single week. And, you know, the there, there used to be the, I mean, there still is, it's the the land geek um, mastermind call, right? So the, the mastermind call, when I would show up to the mastermind call, you would go around, you'd be like, any sales this week? That's the way that it worked. It wasn't like ask questions. It was you asking any sales this week? Yes or no. And if it is a yes, you had to tell what the sale was, right? Like that's the way that it used to work. And my goal is I never wanted to come to that call without having a sale. So that was one sale a week minimum. So you try to go and you try to build one sale a week. Then when you're, when you sell one a week for four, four weeks or something now up at two, two a week, before you know it, you might be hitting five a week, seven a week, whatever it is, you can scale your goals, but you got to be realistic when you start. Let me just be patient, but I'm going to try to get to one a week. And the next thing you know, your passive income will just exceed whatever you want it to be. One sale at a time. No, absolutely. I mean, this is a get wealthy, slow model because that's just the way life is. It just, everything, everything worth doing takes time. There's nothing worth doing that's, that doesn't take time. Um, if, you know, if you guys could tell me something that's get rich quick that works, I'd be open to hearing it. I don't think it exists um, for sure. That, that would be long lasting. I, I can see Tate thinking like, well, what, what about, you know, you could have invested in Bitcoin last year. Uh, but I don't know. I, again, it'd be, you know, we don't know how long that that would still fluctuate in value. Right. Although I do think long term, you know, like land, it's going to increase in value because there's a limited supply. I don't want to get off on a tangent here. Anyways, um, that leads us now to the 2021 tip of the week, a website a resource, a book, something else actionable for the auto passive income listeners to go improve their businesses, improve their lives. That's a long pause. Well, he who speaks first is it. So you spoke. I'm doing the tip of the week. You spoke first. Eric, Eric didn't hit his, to do his nose first. Eric no, Peterson. Didn't I right, do last fine. week? I had a great one. Eric, Did you, you went last year. Last year. It's a new year. Okay. It's been a well, year, man. All I right. think it was so, towards the end of last year. Okay, look, I, I, I got one. I got one. Look, this is uh, this is just something I've been on a little bit of a kick with here lately, and it's not for everybody. But man, I'll tell you what, if you if you um, if you're kind of techie in nature and you just want to go down a rabbit hole that's not Reddit, well then my advice is check out this book on uh, on Amazon, automate the boring stuff with Python. And, you know, Python is, is a programming language. It's, it is fairly simple to, to kind of um, learn. It, it's not overly complex. But, man, if you learn Python, and this isn't, again, this isn't like a quick fix, uh, a quick fix of, like, I'm just going to go do something. It's not like a plug and play. This is like a long-term commitment to, like, I want to learn something that's going to, like, translate for a while. And you want to learn a computer program language? Check out Python and this book, Automate the Boring Stuff with Python, because there's some pretty cool stuff that you can do uh, with web browsers, etc., to automate some of the work that you do. That it just makes the web browser do it on its own. Really? It's is it better than Zapier? Well, yeah. I mean, Zapier is really just about moving moving information, right? This is something. Right. Like if you're doing re repeatable tasks all the time in like your browser, which who isn't? Well, this is just something that you can develop at once and just let it go. And so there's many, many different examples of this stuff. But man, the, the technology to automate some of the work that you do, the mundane stuff is pretty, pretty cool and pretty, uh, pretty impressive. Really? So this, like, Python, you can do screen scraping and I mean, there's all kinds of rabbit holes you can go down. And you know, it's like I said, it's a long-term commitment because you got to learn. If you don't know Python, you got to learn Python. 
So, you know, you it, again, it's not overly complex, but if you want to just take a long-term project and like, I'm going to just learn something about like web development or just development in general, this is a great place to start. Learn something new in 2021. All right. So for our 20, our first 2021 tip of the week, we literally lost 99.5% of our listeners. Okay. Tate right. Litchfield. <laughs> what do you think? He's not doing this. I'm not doing this because hiring uh, somebody hiring I'm hiring somebody, somebody, somebody to do that. Yeah, exactly. But let me tell you something. I've watched Mike Zeno just come to town on like process mania, man. Like this guy, this guy is just going to town. You would you would think he's the he's Roy uh, Kroc, right? Like Ray Kroc. You think he's just Ray Kroc over there developing the McDonald's franchise? He's laser focused on that. And I'll tell you what, and I'm not trying to slight Mike when I say this, but like Mike asked me a question about process moto the other day, and I'm like, man, I'm hoping that process moto is not complicated, but then. I, I kind of walk through Mike the, the process a little bit and all of a sudden the guy's on fire. Okay, like he's just going to town. So, you know, look, you if Mike Zano can can like go to yeah. town on creating these processes or anything, you can learn a programming language. Well, this might help with my mindset to automate the boring. I'm thinking if I read this, it could just unleash some more. I'm telling you, like it, it's just it's 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 an advanced step up but man if you're committed to that long term like i'm gonna learn something new in 2020 2021 this is what you do well you know uh, i got I, one question about it though is it on par with i macros uh no <laughs> about i macros on this <laughs> oh man Man, if we could, Mark, somewhere along the way, we need to go find the the iMacros freak out and like, oh man, whenever we mention iMacros, just insert that video in there. Every so often, I hear people bring it up. Oh, I've got this new thing. It's great. iMacros. I'm going to build a list. Mm -mm. No, yeah. we don't talk about iMacros. Well, I do. Before, I, I've got another tip, by the way, because I wanted to have one that's more general for, for, the, for the listeners instead of go matter? learn, you know, Python. But, the, you know, I'm just kidding, Scott, because, you know, we do have a lot of software developers. Yeah, who listen. and who probably we have a lot of engineers on and they're like, dude, what's your problem? We know this crap. I, I know, I know. But before I give my other tip of the week, um, I do want to just give a shout out to our consistent sponsor. They sponsored us through 2020. They renewed their contract for 2021. Let's just say it's a, they're, they're paying a little bit less than Spotify did for Joe Rogan's podcast, but it's flight school. Learn how to build a passive income machine with land investing with Scott Todd, Azure Sherpa, go up that mountain of land investing step-by-step step, quickly, safely, efficiently. The next class starts January 13th. Get on a call if you haven't signed up yet with Dude Buddy, Nightcap OG, Scott Bossman, the Zen Master Mike Zeno. Go to thelandgeek.com forward slash training. Oh, guess what? That's right. That tuition ain't going to cost nothing. You're going to make back that money 180 days or less in cash or terms deals guaranteed. Just show us your work. It's that simple. Go into 2021 building for your financial future. As Mike Zeno likes to say, when's the, be the best time to plant a tree? 20 years ago, the second best time today. Start planting your passive income machine tree today. TheLandGeek.com forward slash training. All right, so this is really my tip. It's that I got Ready Player Two, uh, the book itself, and on Audible. Will Wheaton on Audible is so good. And the way to really absorb it, because there's so many references in it, is to listen to it on maybe 1.2x speed and read it at the same time. Be totally immersed in Ready Player Two. I am really enjoying it. Really, really enjoying it. So that is my tip of the week is how to really get the full maximum benefit of Ernest Klein's sequel to Ready Player One. What do you guys think? 
It's in my queue. I'm ready. All right. Yeah, it's a it's a great it's a great book for 2021. All right. Well, I want to thank the listeners. Remind them the only way we're going to get Tate Litchfield to continue showing up to these podcasts is if you do us three little favors. You got to subscribe. You got to rate, review the podcast. Send us a screenshot of that review to support at thelandgeek.com. We're going to send you the whole tailing course for free. It's usually 97 bucks. So please do it. Email it, support at thelandgeek.com. It really helps us. We need the ego boost. My ego's fragile. Subscribe, rate, and review. Let us know you did it. Thank you. All right, are we ready to do this? The first time we're doing this now for 2021. Are you going to do it in 2021? Do you want to do something different? Should we create a whole new tagline? I just threw everybody off the game. You were ready to go. And yeah, then you did. Like, what? You did. I mean, it's fine if you want to change. I'm, look, I'm flexible like a yogi. I, I think we're going to change really up the, the intro and outro. Do people love it? Yeah, I mean, do people love it? I mean, does it matter if they love it? We love it. We do we say, love like, it? Now go get dirty. <laughs> the new tagline now go get dirty uh, okay let's go back to One, the old tagline two three <laughs> let, let freedom, freedom ring, ring. ring. That was go one. get dirty that was terrible. <laughs> terrible not not a great way to start the new year mm-hmm. but look we'll, we'll improve through the year laughing what better way to start the new year but laughing yeah yeah exactly exactly you know what i'm still Um, not laughing about mike we gotta go is your 2020 bold cap bygones (laughs) be bygones i don't know man i carried that i carried this now that's over it's carried into the new year that's a bad sign man bossman i did nothing I mean, if Eric, if Mark if Mark would let me share my screen here, like oh boy, we gotta oh, let yeah. this go. go. Twenty twenty one is a new year. He likes to control the screen sharing and the fact that we can't share our screen. Keep controlling it? No, no, it's you got because control now. I mean, I I would just show you, Mike, that the the one thing that I have on my desktop, you know, like it is my desktop um, oh, wallpaper. <laughs> it's it's this. I mean, this is this is what I look at throughout the day. Okay, I, I like <laughs> and and I just it's the picture of Mike in his bald cap from Halloween, and I just wonder, like, man, what? How I can't possibly let that go. I no, you can't. Can't right? Thank you, Scott. No, you can't. So you know. I don't know. We're going to have to see where this takes us. <laughs> I, I have no words. That's how this podcast no ends. That's how, that's how it ends. not how 2021 starts. This is not how it starts. <laughs> uh, Tate, do you have a new show to start 2021? No. I don't know. Uh, I don't think so. No. Do you guys see HBO Max's deal? The They've movie. got like a, yeah, like the their streaming service. They're 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 putting out new movies that should have hit the theater, and mm-hmm. it's just going to go on HBO Max. But it's included with the subscription. It's it's almost like a no brainer. It's an interesting pricing model uh, compared to what Disney did. So Disney has their subscription model, and there's an extra thirty bucks just to watch Mulan. The HBO is not doing it. Pretty interesting. See, we can learn. We can learn some business lessons about pricing from uh, our friends over at HBO. Twenty twenty one is going to be a good year for um, new seasons. Like, I don't know if we're going to see another Ozark. Will there be another Ted Lasso? I know there'll be another Ted Lasso. Uh, there's going to be a lot of, a lot of continuation, right? This year, a lot of good stuff. I I don't know. I don't know how they did production. Or if they're in production. Yeah, Cobra so, Kai's coming uh, out uh, like in a week. What is? What's coming out? Co- what's coming out? Cobra, Cobra Kai season three. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah. 
What what date's that on? I think it's January eighth, somewhere around there. Wow. So on Netflix. Um, I'm hoping for uh, for for a good date for Better Call Saul. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah for sure. Um, I'm I'm hoping we can do our networking event. Yeah. This year. Um, and for sure, the live boot camp in Vegas in August. That'll be exciting. Lots of good things happen in 2021. All start with that vaccine. Hopefully. I don't know. Is anyone nervous about it? Scott Bossman, you're not nervous about it. You're, you're a science guy. About taking the vaccine? No, give yeah. it to me. I'm ready. Okay. At this point, we've probably already taken it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> probably not within a few weeks. Well, I might. You, that's yeah. true. I'll be your guinea pig. All right. Let us not well, grow another head. Hopefully, it's not a bald head. It caused me to lose my hair. <laughs> it went bald. Oh no. Yeah. That would make Scott happy. Well, look, I'm I'm gonna go now and, and do something that scares me. Like try a new restaurant with my son. Yeah. I like it. Are you, a, are you a gambling man, Mr. Drebin? Every time I eat out. <laughs> Good luck to you, man. Thanks. Uh, See you guys. See you guys. See ya.